Welcome to my life in a pandemic. My quarantine started rather abruptly as I was still on spring break in Hawaii when everything started to get shut down. Towards the end of our trip, we went to a local nature spot for cliff jumping two days in a row. On the second day, the cops showed up and everyone had to evacuate Just the spot. One cop, and he was pretty nice, but then we found, like, on our way out, there was a female cop, like, yelling at these Hawaiian girls. And then she, like, threatened to give us a citation, but, you know, we made it. So we stuck to the resort beaches and tried to make the most out of the rest of our trip, but inevitably we noticed more places closing and a decrease of people out on the streets. So we grabbed our souvenirs and headed home on the plane back to LA. I'd never Project. seen such an empty flight in my life, nor was I prepared for how empty LAX was when we landed, already making LA feel like it wasn't the same as we had left it. As I got back to my room and looked out the window, I thought about all the changes that occurred in the seven days we were gone. All international travel was banned. LA County went into full lockdown and the coronavirus cases in LA had risen from 54 to 292. Not to mention campus was completely closed and the rest of the semester moved online. I now faced a major decision. Stay at my house in LA or risk boarding another plane to go back to my home in Boston. After careful consideration and many phone calls with my parents, we concluded that I should remain in Los Angeles. Have you heard any other USC students? After surveying the situation and what others were doing, we found this was the best and safest option. So I settled in at my off-campus house and got comfy as the number of cases was still rising, everything was closed except essential businesses, and there was no telling how long shelter in place would last. My mom ended up shipping me some supplies as I needed a mask right away and the store shelves were mostly empty with very long lines to get in even into late at night. Despite the coronavirus chaos, uncertainty, and abrupt changes, I quickly got into a normal routine. Every day starts with me getting the most amount of sleep possible before I wake up and jump on Zoom for my online classes. This is my roommate Katina. Her and I have a class together, so it's funny because normally we would sit next to each other in class, but now we're in my bed with her little dog. I don't mind Zoom classes too much. We even had Carol Folt as a guest speaker in our lecture. It was great to talk to her and probably an experience we wouldn't have gotten otherwise. Even when her and I don't have our class together, my roommates and I will still all hang out in one room and go about our different classes or homeworks. In a sense, it's like I have them in every class now. And our little dog. You want to face any sort of legal or financial battles that may come ahead. After class, my roommates and I will go to the backyard, which we discovered this quarantine is really great for some outdoor workouts. We'll also run to a nearby set of stairs and do some cardio. This is pretty much our only physical activity, so we like to push ourselves and we enjoy the outside time. Not to mention, still a good amount of people are outside enjoying the nice weather. And us ourselves, we go outside every day, whether it's to walk the dog or if we're picking up tacos from one of our favorite taco stands. And we always pack enough masks and enough Purell and take precautions. We also have to do our grocery shopping, so we try to pick up a lot of items at once in order to minimize the amount of times we go throughout the week. But the stay at home order has allowed us more time to cook and just try out more recipes and spend more time chefing it up in the kitchen. Honestly, I never feel lonely with my roommates around and our little dog, and we're always finding something to do around the house, whether it's playing with the dog or playing video games. I also have this big window in my room which opens out to the roof, so we'll take pillows and climb out there to chill. I've always found happiness in the little things in life, from the sun shining into our kitchen to the sweat during our workout and the sunsets at the end of each day. While I miss my family a lot, I know they're safe and I'm safe, and choosing to not go home has shown me truly how independent and responsible I am. This pandemic hits me at a strange time in my life as I'm turning 21 soon on May 18th and I will officially be an adult then. Yet, I feel now more than ever that I'm growing up and becoming the person I am. And now this pandemic will forever be a part of that.